Welcome back to the Vandy Sports Podcast. I'm Joey Dwyer here with an instant reaction to some news that I think we all saw coming. Uh, that doesn't make the news any less unfair, any less unfortunate, though. Liam Robbins will miss the remainder of the season with a lower leg fracture that he suffered Wednesday night at Kentucky. Stackhouse broke this morning that uh, it's a lower leg fracture. Robbins is in surgery right now, or at least was about an hour ago. And uh, that's going to be it for Liam Robbins' season and probably his college basketball career as well. Just a really unfortunate way for such a great career to end, not only at Vanderbilt, uh, in which he had his best season this season, but also in Minnesota where he was a double-digit scorer on a team that was ranked at one point and was a double-digit scorer at Drake and was able to transfer up to the Big Ten. Liam Robbins was a double-digit scorer in three different leagues, and two of those were Power 5 leagues where he sees a lot of tremendous bigs. So, uh, again, just a really unfortunate way to end this career for Liam Robbins. Um, I looked up what a lower leg fracture would do timetable wise. It's going to be four to six months. Uh, if that's the case, I'm not saying that's concrete because we'll hear more from Stackhouse this afternoon in terms of maybe his timetable. I'll try to uh, ask him that, but it feels like Liam Robbins kind of gets hurt at the worst time, not only for Vanderbilt, but for himself as well. Robbins was a guy who was, um, maybe a fringe NBA draft guy. I would have thought that he would get would have gotten drafted with the way his three point shot has emerged, with the shot blocking ability he's shown, and uh, with the ability to get his own shot out of the post. But man, just a tough break timing wise. NBA draft is in a few months. I assume a little bit closer to four months, probably before four months. Uh, so if that injury takes a while to rehab, going to be tough for Robbins to get in front of NBA teams and uh. Again, just a really unfortunate break for Robbins, even though he has a lot of great tape out there. Um, Going to be tough in terms of draft stock and really just a terrible way for his college career to end. Just such a great career it has to come to an end like this. Robbins was really looking forward to that game at Kentucky, um, I assume, and just has to end like that. Great that Vanderbilt rallied around him for that game, but you look at the past couple months and kind of the impact Robbins had made, since he came back from that sprained ankle where he missed four games and Vanderbilt went one and three. Since then, Vanderbilt went on a five-game win streak, was six and two before Kentucky um, since Robbins got back into the lineup and went on a five-game winning streak when Robbins was in the lineup. And Robbins averaged 22 points a game during that stretch, one SEC player of the week at one point. Again, just heartbreaking news for Vanderbilt's program. Uh, have to feel for Liam Robbins. That's always a guy who's been – Pretty easy to work with as a media member, um, easy to talk to, and just one of the better guys in this game. Just hate to see it end like this for Liam Robbins, but it's really hard to think that this is the end of Liam Robbins' basketball career. Feels like this is a guy who has pro written all over him, whether that's being drafted, whether that's going as an undrafted guy and maybe making the back end of an NBA roster in a few years, whether that's going and getting – some money overseas. Liam Robbins, I don't think, is done playing basketball and uh, will play at a higher level after the season, regardless of what, what that timetable looks like, regardless of kind of what this injury entails. I don't want to concretely say that four to six months is the timeline, but um, that's kind of what – that's the wheelhouse that I had seen uh, kind of looking into it a little bit. We'll hear more from Stackhouse on that later, though. Um, in terms of how this affects Vanderbilt – uh, Vanderbilt played their tail off for Liam Robbins on Wednesday. I think Jordan Wright said that in the presser, actually, is that they wanted to win this game for Liam Robbins, and uh, that they did. It's going to it's gonna be tough to do that from here on out, though. Um, playing without your best player, playing without your center, um, your shot blocker, your anchor defensively is going to be really, really challenging. And uh, Vanderbilt can maybe get some things going uh, in terms of small ball lineups, opening up the floor, but only having Quentin Melora Brown on Saturday in all likelihood will certainly hurt them. Maybe Lee Dort comes back for the SEC tournament and changes some things. But again, just going to be tough for Vanderbilt. But the Commodores are on the bubble right now. Uh, we're in Joe Lenardi's to be considered, again, uh, just two or three spots out of the next four out. So it feels like Vanderbilt maybe starting to get some relevancy. Uh, Liam Robbins starting to get some relevancy nationally. And then this happens just really really poor news we'll talk more about Vanderbilt's resume uh, as time goes on I thought they were kind of out of it after that LSU loss admittedly if you watch that video 
seems like Vanderbilt's got its name kind of back into consideration. It's going to be an uphill climb, probably going to have to win a few games in Bridgestone next week, probably going to have to beat uh, Mississippi State tomorrow. But Vanderbilt's got a fighting chance, and that chance would have been a lot easier to take advantage of with Liam Robbins in the lineup. Uh, Just another, again, just a brutal, brutal loss for Vanderbilt in terms of really everything, leadership, offense, uh, depth, defense, really everything. Liam Robbins was the complete package as a big man for them this year. He's great out of the pick and roll, um, could pop a little bit on those actions, could shoot the three ball a lot better than he had previously shot 36% from three this year, which is a career high after a rough start, hit 19 threes, um, shot 50% from the field, which is a career high, had 82 blocks on the season. And again, so much to like from Liam Robbins on the floor this year. And again, won the SEC Community Service Award like two days ago. So you just hate this for Liam Robbins. You hate this for Vanderbilt. Um, But again, if it was an injury that some were speculating, like, maybe an Achilles, uh, maybe something with his calf could have been a lot worse. Um, And I feel like maybe this isn't the best outcome for Liam Robbins. I wouldn't say it's fortunate. Uh, It's obviously unfair, but maybe you look at this going forward and say maybe this doesn't have the long-term effect on him that an Achilles would or something along those lines would. Obviously, this was really scary. Uh, When he went down on the floor, told the trainer it popped. You could see it on TV. He said that. Uh, and then didn't put any weight on his leg walking off the floor uh, as he was helped off by trainers. But yeah, just a brutal break for Liam Robbins, brutal break for Vanderbilt. But if there's anyone who's going to turn this into a positive, I would assume it's Liam Robbins. That feels like kind of his MO is, um, at least with this Vanderbilt team, he's always been positive. Even through their tougher losses, Liam Robbins has always talked about how he's loved this team and how um, he's always believed in this team and that belief is starting to show if Liam Robbins is anywhere near that, uh, in his personal life, I feel like this is just going to be a bump in the road for him. But again, it's, there's only so many ways to say it. It's unfair. It's brutal news, but Liam Robbins personality, I think is one that, um, won't kind of back down from this and he he will, uh, He'll rehab from this well tomorrow. He'll be honored at senior day. I can't confirm that he will be there yet. I'll ask Stack about that, or somebody will, I'm sure. Stack will bring it up. But uh, Robbins will be honored tomorrow at senior day, and uh will be a fitting way for him to go out at Memorial Gymnasium after the season he's had, one of the best seasons from Vanderbilt Big uh, that I can remember. Just, again, tremendous, tremendous season for Liam Robbins, tremendous career. Uh, doing what he did in the Big Ten, doing what he did in the SEC, and doing what he did at Drake. Just, again, a tremendous, tremendous career for Liam Robbins. We'll talk more about Vanderbilt's bubble hopes soon, but wanted to do a individual video talking about Robbins. Uh, we'll have more coverage from Jerry Stackhouse's presser this afternoon. Uh, I'm sure Robbins will be brought up a lot in a, a multitude of different contexts, but I appreciate you guys watching. Um, God bless. and. Uh, We'll have more coverage the rest of the year tomorrow, uh, Mississippi State, and then the SEC tournament next week. And then who knows from there, maybe Vanderbilt um, shocks the world and makes the NCAA tournament. But I appreciate you guys watching again. God bless. Peace.